Hey guys, what's up? My name is Rajat. Welcome back to my channel VFX World. So guys, it's a warm welcome and it's Sunday. So Sunday, I'm here for showing you some cool tips and tricks about Photoshop action. Yes guys, Photoshop action. So now I'm here for showing you some cool things by using Photoshop Fire action. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay guys, so now we are in my system and let's open Photoshop and guys, trust me, it's awesome. So just go, if after this tutorial, just go and download it and install and make some cool photos and upload on Facebook and just show off. Yes guys, so this is Photoshop version CC, most updated one and then uh, by the way guys and <coughs> if those guys are not know about photoshop action then how to use how to install how to install brushes and patterns please go and drop please go this uh, description bar and this, uh, you can see the my last i mean not last my third fourth last tutorial which is based on the typography where i was shown you guys that how to install properly actions and all and then please come here and watch this tutorial otherwise little bit you guys like oh, what is this I can't understand like this stuff of things so now without wasting any time again let's get started first let's import the footage which is file new open and I have my own footage so let's select this one this lady and now the Photoshop action already installed here which uh, but in this panel you don't you can't see this so press window and select this action shortcut is here alt plus f9 <coughs> okay so now i have my flames this is the flame one which is the photoshop action which will make some cool things so now just take a new layer from here and uh, just you can do i mean whatever it is uh, the thing is please now i have to paint out what should be visible in my uh, out final output so just uh, take selection tool and just start selectioning so i am just doing very fast 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 this is very high quality picture guys please take some high quality pictures otherwise the output should not i mean will not come uh, like that much that you expect so please 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 take some high quality photos from internet just, just go on google and just increase the uh, settings that you need some high resolution photos these are the photos I, I downloaded I don't know from where but I downloaded many things many years back and these photos are really awesome for my tutorials that's why I saved here and you can see <coughs> this selection is almost uh, yes it's nice so now what I do control 0 for fit to screen and then select this layer and take any kind of colors like black green yellow so just I am taking this red color because black is not good for me so then just press alt and backspace to fill this completely and you can see this hand is not selected previously just select it again and just oh my god it's okay selected and same thing alt backspace and it will fill now the rest of the parts which is which is left just select the brush and just go a little down this brush and just fill it like roughly no need to add very clean just fill it very slightly so just like this and these are the things actually these small small things can make big changes in your output because these are like particles will generate from here so just do this and like this okay so when you're happy with your selection control zero next the most important thing for this action which is the renaming part so just double click on this layer one oil text and type brush which is brush all in lowercase no uppercase then the final part almost done guys just open this flame then just there is three options long, long size small size very small size just select normal size or small size which you wish then press this play button so guys now i'm playing pressing this play button play okay guys it will take uh, almost like one and a half minutes Till then you have to wait and I must say to my system that Jarvis please fast forward 
and when it will complete please get back to me and i will get back to you guys okay guys i'm back so now i'm showing you the what is the final output are you guys excited right so this is the final output this is it so guys as you guys can see this is pretty awesome right and it's really cool so now it's completely done but you can definitely change some settings here so just uh, go here and you just uh, turn off and all you can see all the stops and settings and just you can modify it i'm showing you some modifications just turn off these groups because it's very highly modified so just turning off this all these groups and all and see now whoa so much groups so now foreground flames this is the foreground flames let's open this flames and just this one is my flame outer glow this is the frame color double click on it you can change it from here from anything to any color see it's already working now i am changing this colors like okay let's select something like this one change this color double click and press okay no not like this just move it a little down and yes so in this process you can modify whatever you can choose so this is it for today guys hope you really join like my this tutorial and if you have uh, any questions anything related to this tutorial that how to install and all i already told please go but uh, anything else did please contact me on facebook youtube twitter on my facebook page name rsb creation and my youtube also always i am available there you can uh, ping me in linkedin also my profile name always rajit shubra and if you are still not subscribed please go and subscribe my channel vfx world uh, it's getting late and just please hit the bell icon over there for fresh contents updates and notifications so thank you for watching hope you like this video good day and um, enjoy your sunday bye thank you for watching